I estimate my weight between 750 and 800 pounds. 24 seven on the couch for the last four or five months. I feel like I live in hell right now. I'm in constant pain. I haven't taken an actual shower in over a year. I get sponge baths. Somebody has to dress me. I have to pee in a urinal or a bucket, do number two in a bed pan. You know uh, that you're killing yourself here. Tell me, what are you doing? I'm getting myself basically to death. You're fighting for your life here. You are absolutely out of control. My greatest fear is the heart attack. There's no way that they're going to get me to the hospital and save me. Well, that was Big John. We met him back in season two of the Dr. Phil show. Sadly, two months after taping that show and after successfully losing 100 pounds, John passed away from complications with asthma. A tragic ending like John's is Pauline's worst fear, of course, and her son Dylan's. But it doesn't have to end that way. Now, my next guest weighed over 700 pounds and has lost an incredible 400 pounds and is still losing. Take a look. This is hard. Losing weight is never easy, especially if you weigh 477 pounds. I'm so proud of you. That's all I could do. But I started a mission to get healthy, and in just seven months, I lost 100 pounds. Say with it, Push. Mm, it was hard work. I'm craving something. Look at that. And there were times I didn't think I could do it. I've hit a wall. Mm. Mm. You just don't understand how hard it is. I know what you need. Don't let them rush you. So sick of it. But with the help of my friends and my team of experts, I am conquering my lifelong battle with my weight. I want to step out of my comfort zone. My dream was to one day ride a bike. It was amazing. I did not want to get off that bike for nothing. I can't believe I'm riding a bike. Good girl. Yeah. Thanks for being here, and you know who Ruby is, right? I do. Watched her show every week. You watched her show, and I did. And she was a big motivation on. for me, actually. Right. So, what do you want to say? First of all, I've been listening to y'all, and I want to tell you, you can do this, and you have to. When you said about your family members, you have to go to the doctor. That fear was the same as mine, but it saved my life. I was dying and didn't even know it. I actually let me be honest, I actually felt my body dying. I couldn't even hold a bottle, I mean a canned drink, it was too heavy. And my mother kept pestering me and pestering me. Finally I went and the doctor said, you're gonna die. My sugars were like 500, I didn't know I was a diabetic. And he says, if you don't do something now, you're gonna die. And I thought it's meant for me to die. Whatever I was supposed to do here on earth, I must have done because I can't beat this. I never have beat this since I was 13. I've tried every diet. I could put my mind to anything else and I could beat it, but not this. And I said, well, it must be meant for me to die because I can't do it. And then something kicked in and said, no, you're not going to die. You're going to do this and you're going to fight this. And you're going to find out the truth behind what's going on. And that's when I went on a journey <laughs> to find out the truth. You've lost how much weight so far? I'm a little bit over 400 pounds and it has been... <laughs> No surgery. The, the most craziest thing I heard you say, you went, um, and I heard your son talking about how you want to get better, you know, you want to feel this way and everything, but you really don't know what it's like to be smaller. You know what I mean? We yeah. do when we were younger because, you know, but I didn't know what I was missing out on because we, it's almost like we become, we have a security blanket around us and we don't even realize it. And we're so in our comfort zone we want to get better, but we're so fearful of something and we can't even explain what it is. I had no idea, y'all. You didn't it's... listen to Dr. Ruby because she's telling you, <laughs> she's, she's telling you some very wise counsel here. But that's True. because I went on a journey to lose weight, but I really went on a journey and found myself. And I'm about to cry because I'm still fighting myself. And it wasn't a success only journey, right? You've had some setbacks oh along the way. It's, it's... I gained weight. This, the last, if you watch the last, I had a setback and I gained weight and mm -hmm. I've lost what I gained. But I was determined, I said, you're not, and it was denial. I'm sitting there and I'm eating sugar-free stuff saying, oh, I can have this. No, you can't, you know, because we're not normal people. We're not normies. There's, you know, Tenny, one of the therapists that was on my show would say, there are normal people, you know, and, you know, 
and then there's not, and we're not normies. We're going to talk about that, and we're going to hear some more wisdom from Ruby. We'll be right back.